So whenever you want to correspond with any government official or maybe with the government in a very formal way. So we use letter writing as one of the means. No abbreviations and also no slang that has to be used over here. Since it has lot of details and you are writing it to your friends or relatives, there may be many issues, many facts that you will uh, include there. So that's the reason there is no subject line that is required. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shalini, Professor of English, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today we are here to understand one of the language components prescribed by University of Mysuru for 4th SEM BCom. We will be understanding what is the meaning of letter writing and then we will understand which are the different types of letters and what are the formats required for those various types of letters and we will also look at a sample of formal and informal letters. Okay, So let us begin quickly now. To start with, we are going to understand the meaning of letter writing. Why is a letter written? What is meant by letter writing? Okay, So the most important means of communication in government and private sectors is letter writing. Okay, So whenever you want to correspond with any government official or maybe with the government in a very formal way. So we use letter writing as one of the means. So this can be seen in private sectors also. Okay, not only government but also private sectors. The most important topic in writing skills is this letter writing. Okay, so this is one of the most sought after and also one of the most important skills that can be seen in writing skills in English. Okay, so this is actually the meaning of letter writing. Okay, so let us begin by understanding which are the different types of letters. Okay, so to begin with we have this formal letter. Okay, so this is one type of letter writing. Okay, so here we have this official letter. So these are the letters that come under this formal letter. Okay, so this is actually a very official letter. It is written in official level only. Okay, whenever you are writing to some officers, be it government or private, it is written to some official. Fine. So the language that is used will be very formal. Okay. So not like how you talk with your friends. It will be very sophisticated, very courteous and very polite. So that is what you call as a formal language. Okay. So then we cannot write this to relatives or friends. We write it only to officials, private or government, but not to relatives and friends. Okay. This is the point where we have to upon upon. We need to concentrate here because we do not write it to relatives and friends we uh, have to write it only to officials that is formal letter okay so this will always be precise and also to the point no unnecessary details and all will be included there it is only to the point precise means very short and crisp enough okay there is no use of a colloquial words means whatever words we use while talking those words are not used in this formal letter Okay, so no abbreviations also no short forms. Okay, no abbreviations and also no slang that has to be used over here. That means language should be very elaborate and formal enough. Okay, so this is the formal letter. Okay, so now we move on to the informal letter. So this is the second type of letter that you are understanding. Okay, so informal letter is not at all an official letter. It is not written to officers. Okay, it is instead written to friends and relatives or maybe acquaintances. That is the people you know by uh, name and also you know them very closely and with those whom you maintain personal relationship. So that type of uh, people only you write this letter to. Okay, so here the language is not at all formal, it has to be informal. Okay, so you can write like you are talking to them. Okay, so this is the written form of how you talk to your known people or how you talk to your acquaintances. Okay, so that's the reason there is informal language that is used over here. Fine. So this can have extra information. Formal letter you saw it was very precise. Whatever was required only that much will be written. Whereas informal is just the opposite it will have extra information. It's not like you include all unnecessary details, but you can include all personal uh, details also over there. Okay, so whenever you are writing a letter to any official or something, you do not uh, write all these personal information over there. Whereas an informal letter, you can include that also. Okay, so here you can have extra information and also subject line is not required. 
in official letter subject line is required in order to convey the official what you are writing about whereas here since it has lot of details and you are writing it to your friends or relatives there may be many issues many facts that you will uh, include there so that's the reason there is no subject line that is required so these were the two different types of letters you see in letter writing okay so which are the types of letters that come under formal letter okay so it can be a letter to the editor it can be a letter to any government or maybe to police and letter to the principal or maybe an order letter complaint letter inquiry letter reply so all these okay these all come under formal letter so all these you have it in your business correspondence part okay so this is uh, section a of your uh, syllabus okay in section a you have this business correspondence okay so these letters come under that section okay apart from this application for job is also there which also comes under the language component part okay so you have a just one job application along with cv okay so that comes under this language component part so basically speaking under language component also you have letter writing in section a that is business correspondence there also you have this letter writing and these are the types of letters you will be writing in business correspondence okay that is your section a which is there for 30 marks and also language component you have letter writing that is job application along with cv for 4 marks okay so altogether 34 marks you will be getting for letter writing okay so next to move on we have types of informal letters also this time you'll be learning only formal letters okay informal letters it is not there but it is better you know the types of informal letters also okay so you can write letter to your parents siblings friends classmates neighbors all these okay any kind of uh, acquaintances so these come under acquaintances means the known people okay so these are called as acquaintances okay so these letters come under informal letters okay so these are the two different types of letters and among that there are so many subdivisions so these were the types of letters you understood so we'll now understand the format of these letters okay so in formal letter what and all should you include is the question here so this will start with the sender's address first then comes the date for date also there is a format okay so let me just tell you sender's address includes only address okay so even if you write your name that's fine but as per the format you need to write only the address because when you are closing you are going to write your name so need not have to write it twice okay so sender's address you will write and date will be in elaborate form something like this june 1st 2022 or maybe 1st june 2022 okay so it should be in elaborate form okay it must be in elaborate form only then comes the receiver's address and in this part if you know the receiver's name also please write it and below that you need to write the designation of the receiver okay so address doesn't mean you have to write only address you need to include the designation also okay so what post does that receiver hold okay so you have to address him by the post only for example you are writing it to your principal okay you know the principal's name but you will not write his or her name you have to write the principal only okay so that time you need to write the the principal's designation and also you need to write the official address okay so here also you will write the official address here also you will write the official address only okay so because you are related to that person whom you are writing at an official level only okay you need not have to write anything personal okay you are sending this letter to the official in the office not to his or her home so you need to write the receiver's address official level only okay so then we have this subject line you need to convey to the receiver what you are writing about okay so subject line is important then salutation how do you address that person okay how do you call that person as soon as i enter the class as i address you like a very warm welcome is what i say okay welcome to the class a very good morning so something like this i say when i come to the class right so similarly salutation is very much important respected sir respected madam is what you have to write you don't write dear here you have to write respected because dear comes in informal letter respected sir or madam comes in formal letter 
okay so this is what you have tried then comes the body this contains the actual content of the letter okay so the main content is here whatever you have to convey that you have to convey in an elaborate way over here shortly you will convey in subject line next you will have it in content okay so content you need to specify little elaborately okay so then you have this complimentary closing as soon as the class is over i just cannot run away saying bye bye okay so i need to give you a clue that i am going to conclude the class i am going to discuss in the next class what are the topics so all these i need to tell you give you a clue that the class is going to end and then i have to leave i just cannot leave the class abruptly okay so this is what is called as complimentary close thanking you yours faithfully yours sincerely all these come under complimentary closing at last we have this sender's name signature and designation okay first signature will be coming okay so then comes the designation along with name okay so name you can write in caps okay you can write it in upper case and then comes the designation the post you hold okay so this is what is the format of a formal letter now let us look at the format of an informal letter this is also more or less the same but slight different is that you'll have this address address of the sender then you have date there is no prescribed format for this date okay you can write it the way you want then we have this salutation you don't have this receiver's address okay you don't have the receiver's address over here okay you'll have salutation then you'll have body no subject line okay no subject line no receiver's address okay so both of them will not be there inside the letter okay then at last you have this sender's name and address okay sender's name and address so this is optional you can write this address or you may leave it also no issues sender's name should be there okay so where do you write this receiver's address you will write it on the envelope okay on the envelope you have a place to write address right so that place you will write the address of the receiver okay some places you have it on one part wherein the stamp is stuck there you will have the receiver's address and the other part wherein the stamp is not stuck there you will have to write the sender's address okay so this you are putting your letter into an envelope so that time you need to mention this okay so this is the format of an informal letter okay so let us now look at a sample okay so sample of a formal letter formal letter you know you have to write it in official level only isn't it so here we have a letter to mayor of your city mayor the person who takes care of the city who heads the city okay seeking solution to the problem of water clogging in your area so water is clogging that is it is getting stuck somewhere so that you are writing you are raj or rani of dharma colony ramgarh so here they only have given the name so you need to write that name they have just mentioned it as dharma colony so suppose you are writing a door number and all you can mention your own okay so here you are writing it to an official so you need to mention his official address okay so let us start number 14 bar 8 dharma colony ramgarh this is my address that is the person who is writing the letter that person's address then we have this date you need not have to mention this compulsorily okay this is optional but this is mandatory okay 15 jan 2021 then you have the official address okay the mayor ramgarh okay so here you have the designation here you have the city the person in charge of the city so that will reach him no issues so you need not have to mention the uh, postal address in detail okay so then we have this subject line complaint regarding problem of water clogging in dharma colony okay so this is the subject line you are talking something about uh, water problem okay so then you have this salutation how do you address that person respected sir is also fine sir or madam is also fine okay suppose you know if the person is male then you write sir if not you will just write madam okay so you don't know who the mayor is so you write sir or madam okay so then we have this uh, actual content of the letter okay you mention all the problems here to the point okay what and all problems they are facing and also at last we have a complimentary close here please consider the issue as serious and find out a solution at the earliest the last line what you are reading here it is actually telling that the letter is going to be stopped here it is going to close here okay so then we have this 
complimentary clause again salutation and this is the name of the person who has written the letter okay so this is the way in which you write a formal letter okay so let us now look at an informal letter okay so your garima or gaurav write a letter to your friend so you already know you are writing informal letters to your friends or known people okay you are writing a letter to your friend okay so inviting her or him to your birthday party okay this is not an official invitation it is just a personal invitation okay give details regarding the day time venue etc add interesting details like theme dress code etc okay so this is the question given to you name is already given to you address is not given you can just write your own address okay so yes 45 janmark delhi okay so this is the place we are uh, just uh, sending the uh, letter okay so then the, now comes the date here then salutation then there is no subject line at all okay as i told you there is no subject line at all okay so here hi you are invited to my birthday party on 25th august okay so here the party will be at archie's place nehru park from 4 to 7 pm so here this is the venue this is the time and here you have the date okay here i'm giving some details about theme also okay it is spider man theme in order to make the letter interesting i have been adding all these okay so then waiting for your confirmation it is nothing like it is something like rsvp okay you need to confirm to the person that whether you are coming or not okay so this is rsvp then we have this name of the person who is inviting okay so this is how you write an informal letter okay so you can mention the address there on the envelope also okay so we are inviting two people over here so that letter is written there okay so i just gave you two addresses in order to show you that if there are two people you can just write it like that need not have to mention both the addresses there you can mention the address there that's it okay so this is how you write a letter okay so just now in this session we have seen which are the different formats to write formal and informal letter and which are the categories under formal as well as informal letter okay so let us meet again in another more interesting session to learn about other letter writing okay so take care keep learning more importantly stay safe see you soon bye bye